Hold a moment. You may visit the palace and its shrine, but be warned. The queen meets with trading company vipers. Take care you are not bitten. You will find her in her throne room through the door behind me. Inform the guards of your purpose. Whether the queen will hear you above the baying of her guests is another matter. While I am flattered by the esteemed Hazanui's confidence, I must wonder how my people are meant to have destroyed an entire colony overnight. You tell us. It's no coincidence that your outpost at Port Maje survived the recent storm. You speak as if I could command the tides. While you are casting your blame in a wide net, why not look to our Kahunga allies? We do not share their talent for shaping water. I say our guest forgets himself. Brother, stand down. You are the one who mistakes my throne room for a sparring arena. I say this is beneath us. An interesting visitor in difficult times. You cannot be here to deliver a favorable omen. The gods remember the honest, and so do I. Allow me to apologize as I toss you before the wolves. This one is a watcher blessed by Tangaloa. I suspect that many of our questions about her songo will soon be answered. I know this one. His parlor tricks frightened ten years of every sailor in Queen's birth. We assembled to discuss the darkening of Hasongo, one of Rawatai's colonies. Watcher, it seems you have the floor. Huh. What sailor's tale is this? There's no sane explanation for what's been happening. You keep waiting for one, it'll be too late. Does tilling the soils of the Eastern Reach drive all men mad? You sound as crazy as the Dawnstar Dreamers. Have you not heard the rumors, Karu? An Adra Colossus marching across the sea. Sailor tales, but credible ones. How came a Watcher from half the world away to be involved in these... happenings? Enlighten the court. Tracking down a god who stands as tall as a mountain, a fisherman with poor eyesight could do this. My priests will trip over their feet to interpret his divine plan. Watcher, 
Can you cut through the din and tell for what he comes to the dead fire? How resourceful of you. The eyes are studded with enough luminous Adra to bankroll an economy. I believe our course is clear. We will send the Watcher to Hisongo. Set sail to the west of Nekataka. I would tell you to keep a weather eye out for a lighthouse, but the God of Light did not appreciate competition. Something to add, Hazanui? You have an eager look about you. She believes herself entitled to my ear, I say. Only that Hasongo is a Rawatayan outpost. It would be useful for the Watcher to take one of ours along. Ma'am? Maya's an expert sailor and a better sharpshooter. The best the Brass Citadel has to offer. Whatever comes your way, she'll see it first. If it gets me and Ashiza out of diplomat duty, we'd set sail with a drunk scolder at the helm. Ak, parfito. Do you mean to stop Eothas by shooting him? Seripelagina will go with the Watcher. Show him how the Republic's handled things. Um, Your Excellency, Palagina Messerai has been... banished? She has been seen in Queen's Berth. I can have her report to headquarters. You should feel no obligation to take on additional crew. The choice is yours. Say the word and I'll shoot the tip off a of green boy's nose. You're making a mistake, Watcher. In times like these, trustworthy allies are the most valuable asset of all. Calm down, Nero. I'm sure you'll get one of your spies in place eventually. In the meantime, Watcher, I hope you'll meet me in the Brass Citadel. There's more for us to discuss among friendlier company. I believe we are finished here. Are we here? Aren't we popular? Take care at Hasongo. The dead fire was overfull before Aethus blundered in. Your allies will use you toward any end. Do not give your trust lightly. I say it is beyond time our guests lick their wounds somewhere else. Let's speak. While we have the chance. Your coming is a favorable omen already. Such modesty, I say. You happen by a time when our rivals bicker and tear at each other's throats. <laughs> it does not take a priest to see how the gods send us an outsider to dig under the skin of our enemies. Save your manners for my sister. Kohopa fashioned me for the arena, not the court. I will not paddle around the island. My sister wants to know if you are as useful as you are disruptive. She trusts me to judge this. You did not come this far to serve the crown, I say. But sailing is an expensive hobby. Loyal service can keep your galley stocked. My sister keeps a tight grip on the kataka, but the filth of it drips down her palm and into the gullet. Under our noses, I say, 
Do foreigners smuggle contraband and pay the Rapau for their silence? Take this if you need proof. An envoy ship sank a day's voyage out of Nakataka. He wore that on his breast. My guards recovered it in a raid of the gullet. This confirms my suspicion. Nekataka has a pirate problem. Smugglers and thieves cluster like rats in Delver's Row, a growth in the bowels of our city. You think pirates raiding those Republic's bastards be the source of your people's agony? Wonder what the gullet folk would be thinking of that, sir. Anyone who preys on my people will know Onikaza's justice in time, I say. I want someone to peddle the medallion to the black market, earn the trust of these pirates, and learn how supplies come into my city. It will depend on what you find, I say. Onikaza leaves this for me to handle. While she worries about the manor, I tidy up the basement. Yours is not a face that others will recognize. Let no one learn that you work for the crown. They say you're on familiar terms with Ngati's chosen son, Takeho. See that he joins you in the gullet. He knows something of our troubles already. Ikera, I am certain it doesn't. The voyage will be good for him, I say. Be on your guard in the gullet. I fear the caverns run deeper than even Ngati could guess. Halt! What is your business at the Brass Citadel? You're the Watcher. The one who nearly caused a riot in Queensberth. The Grand Secretary Atsura wants to meet you. His office is on the lower level of Imperial Command. Up the stairs. Once you're inside, Go downstairs through the room on the right. Her office is at the back of Imperial Command. She is busy organizing other matters. But I am sure she will grant you an audience. Leave. No Valian spy is coming through on my watch. I'm a merchant. I have business inside. You want to see our walls, our cannons, our powder house. You must think I'm an idiot. Ach, you got one thing right. The Royal Dead Fire Company is a trading company, is it not? And you are on Kahanga soil. You cannot turn me away. The Brass Citadel and the Royal Dead Fire Company operate under the auspices of the Ranga Nui of Rawatai. We answer to him, not to you. And certainly not to some tribal queen of Nekataka. These Valians are always sending their spies to snoop around, and I won't have it. And these Rawataians think they own anything they stack two stones on top of. I am here to conduct business, not engage in petty power struggles. What? She's up to no good. I know it. Fine. But if you're wrong, we're gonna have a talk later. Agressi, my friend.
With sails unfurled and sword held high, to battle for glory and Rautai. Faithfully done, Emiani. Report to Wakoyo Nui when your hands and your temper have healed. That's the last time I ship out with some soft-handed runt. Why does your Ranga carve his name into a rock? The Ranga Nui. And it's a commemoration to show what he built. Oh. Then did your Raparo also write their names on other stones? I always forget that part. Say, you're the Watcher of Cad Nua, aren't you? I've never met anyone famous before, except the Hazanui. She yells at me sometimes. Oh, all the time. Where's my white leaf? Stop daydreaming. So bore me, if you lose the ledgers again, I'll have you clean the latrines. <laughs> all this time, I didn't realize she knew my name. It's just, this is my first time away from the rough country. I'd heard there were thick, green forests and sandy beaches without a storm in sight, but I never imagined this. You must have traveled lots, seen all sorts of amazing places. I sure hope to. I'd love Rawatai, but it's hard to go a week without seeing storms, or hearing about mudslides burying a village somewhere. I really wish I could, but my supplies are for the Royal Deadfire Company and our allies. Has the Nui's orders. Maybe if you impress her or Atsura, they could make an exception. The former Lord of Cadnua and one time terrifier of harbor masters. If dockside tales are to be believed, you have not brought much good news of late. So, in addition to pirates, profiteers, and slavers, the dead fire has a vengeful god roaming its waters? Tell that to my dead at Asongo. Just what the archipelago needs, one more disaster tugging at the seams. He must be stopped.
Anything can be stopped with sufficient force. The problem is finding the will to deploy it. The Valians won't lift a finger if it isn't to snatch a coin, and the Huana will barely do that much. No one takes charge to solve the big problems. But perhaps we could work together to our mutual benefit. Look around. Dead fires full of fertile, temperate islands. Except for Andra's mortar. It's largely free of rough weather. Yet much of it is uninhabited. Itinerant tribes drift between some of the islands, and smugglers and slavers cluster around the rest. It's a waste. Imagine what this place could be, with well-guarded shipping routes. How many Rawatayans we could feed with plantations here. You've got a way of charging into things full speed. Some might call it reckless, but I consider it valuable. If you're chasing the god who's stomping this place into the ground, then we have a common goal. And if you're going to survive here, then you could use an ally. The disaster at Hasango remains a key concern. We rely on the port there to ship food back to Rawatai. That's on hold until you investigate. Short of that, there are other matters that demand attention. Atsura, our Grand Secretary, has a plan that would make use of your... unusual talents. His office is downstairs. He can tell you more. Hazatoa. Atsura and I usually have a game running, and this one's been going on for over a month and a half. Atsura's good at misdirection. But I've got a mind for the long game. You look like you've come with a purpose. It happened a year into my first command. We were chasing pirates along Rawatai's south coast, and they landed a shop right next to our magazine. A lucky hit. I ran below. The fire was already spreading and making for our powder stores. I smothered what I could with my uniform, pulled the rest away with my own hands. We don't get to choose our challenges, do we? Just the way we meet them. There's a cost to every victory, and the win goes to those willing to make a sacrifice. I'll bet you already know a thing or two about that. And if you don't, Deadfire will teach you soon enough.